What's up? This is Kid Kicks coming at you with a brand new video from Taylor Street, and this will be the first of many more. Alright, so the first shoe in the video will be Concord 1, they're called. In my opinion, these are one of the ugliest Jordan 1s I've ever seen. Like, just the way they look, the black on white, and just everything does not look good in my opinion. <clears throat> these are just cheap shoes. I mean, he probably, like, found them at a thrift shop or something, so. I mean, it's very cheap materials. I personally wouldn't have bought them. Everything about them, you know. So, yeah. Okay, we got the Spider-Man foam posit. Pros here. These are a really nice shoe. The colorway is cool. I mean, I think it, it's cool how the different colors fade to each other. What do you think, Joey? Um, in my opinion, these shoes are very clean, very sexy. I love the way the blue and the black and the red just blend in together, and the bottom of the soles is just so sexy, in my opinion. And these are just a really comfortable shoe, even though I've never worn them. Next shoe on the list is the Foam Posit Sports Royal Blue. These shoes are so nice. I wore these a lot and they're very dirty, but guess what? We wear our kicks. So, uh, yeah, the shoe has a lot of good features. The, the gray upper is just very nice. You have the shiny blue. I mean, I just think it pops. The icy sole, like most Foam Posits have. Joe, you could tell Joey wears his kicks by the sole, you know, the dirt in it. He's definitely, he wears all of his shoes, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got the Foam Posit Weatherman right here. I have the shoe, too. I just think it's a really nice shoe. The uh, uh, the graphic on the upper is really nice. The sole, like, transitions from blue to clear. It's a really nice shoe. Also, what I love about this shoe is a little hang tag on here. It says uh, Nike Action News. It's just so nice, in my opinion. And on the insole, it says Nike Action News also. It's just so sexy with the little imprint and stuff. He's also customing his shoe, customizing his shoe, and he's using acetone to get rid of the print, so that's going to look really nice. We'll do a review on those as soon as he's done with them. Next shoe up is the KD7 Aunt Pearls. In my opinion, these shoes are pretty good looking. Uh, I love uh, how on the Nike swoosh, it has little uh, wings in it, and little like angel wings, and how the, this is a big Pegasus wing because that's like, you know, Katie's like animal, I guess you could say. And on the inside of this little wing strap, it says Kevin Durant and K. Yao Cancer Fund in memory of Aunt Pearl who inspired us all to continue to fight for a cure. His aunt died of breast cancer, I think it was. Yes. And um, just a really nice shoe. Anything you got to say? Yeah, my favorite part of the shoe is the inside, which shows like an angel design. That's my favorite part. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. He said most of the stuff. Yeah, and also the little symbol right here is really nice. It's a good shoe. Okay, this is the Foam Posit Nyx. I personally don't like this shoe. The orange upper is too bright. I just don't. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, same with me, him. I, I think this shoe is just too loud, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing I like about it has how the blue and the orange right on the tongue matches a little bit. And how to have, like, the Nike Air original symbol. Uh, this shoe is for sale. If anybody wants to buy it, it's... Right now, I'm going to try at least... Try to get at least uh, 150 The price is negotiable. Um, if anyone wants it, comment in the comment section. Okay, here we got the Kyrie 2 Dukes. These are one of my favorite shoes because they are very limited, and I'm a hype beast, so I like these. You have the D DU and the KE at the, at the uh, end of the shoe, which just really matches together, and it looks really nice. I also like the bottoms, which are a, an icy blue colorway, kind of like the Gamma Blue 11s. So that's why I like them. Also, what I like about the shoe is the strap. It's just, it's the shoe looks so stealthy when you wear it, and it just, like, it's just so nice, especially with the KI or the K2 on the bottom. You could differ on what you think this means. All right, this is the Shy City 23s. In my opinion, these shoes are crazy cool. They're just the colorway and the different thing designs on the shoe, and on this shoe it says Shy on it. And I'll let him tell what the other part says. But what I love most about this shoe is just the different, the different Michael Jordan signatures on the toe area. And, I mean, the bottom is just so nice. This gum sole with the, this, like, uh, black and white, looks like a checkerboard type of style. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you guys a little spoiler alert. This one says uh, City on it, for all you guys who didn't see that already. I just, I know we didn't want to spoil it. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little uh, warning right there. So, yeah. 
My favorite part of the shoe is the gum gum bottoms on this. It just looks really nice. Everything about this shoe just pops. So. Also, what I love about these shoes is it got Chicago's area code on it. This one says 312, and this one says 773. Here we got the Jordan 4 White Cement. Uh, this is one of my favorite shoes in my collection. I like it a lot because of the... Uh, because of the way it pops. It's different from the 2012 pair though because of the Nike Air branding on it. You have Nike Air branding on the heel and you have it on the bottom of the shoe. So I think that's really makes it uh, different. So it's cool. What I like about this shoe is again with the Nike Air branding because on the 2012 pair I think it was the Jumpman logo was on it and they put it back with the old ones from the I think it was 89 they released this the first four and this is where they featured the Nike Air so that's really cool to see how they reintroduced the shoe with the Nike Air logo on it. Alright, these are the Taxi 12s. These are one of the cleanest pairs of Jordan 12s I've ever seen. I love the gold little uh, lace locks right here. These are nice. Um, and the little cheetah or tiger print right there. It's really nice in my opinion. I have one word. Clean. These are the Jordan 12 Masters. Personally, one of my favorite 12s of all time. I like this shoe because it just pops. Uh, this was actually made after the um, master poster that they made back in the day. This is the poster right here. They have it on a card, and they since it's like black, white, and gold, they like they made the shoe that's those same colors. So that's why I think it, the gold pops. There's some gold. I added these aglets on the shoe, gold aglets. Um, shout out to Marco right there for the hookup with the aglets. So yeah. Yeah, these shoes are really nice. I love how the the Jumpman right here is white and how the bottom of the carbon fiber is like, uh, it looks like a zebra to me. Just my personal opinion and preference. And I love the heel tag right here. It's just so nice. Alright, so these are the new SB Waffles. They were just released this Saturday. And these shoes are very delicious, if you know what I mean. Mmm. So, these shoes are very good with just small detail on the shoe. With the little Nike swoosh that has syrup dripping down, which is what I love. You got any input about it? I like the swoosh on it. Like, this, like it has a cool design with the dripping. I like, dri the syrup drips on it. It looks really cool. So, yeah. That's nice. And also, I like the gum uh, bottom sole. Okay, this is the Jordan 10 OVO White. Uh, this shoe is really premium. It's a very nice shoe. It's very limited. The fit, my favorite thing about the shoe is the sole. It's like a transparent sole, and it just looks really nice. It just pops. So. What I love about the shoe is the Stingray, uh, like texture material on it, and I love the, like it got the OVO branding. And if you, if you guys didn't know, um, Drake's company is OVO. <laughs> uh, this is Drake's shoe line, and he will be releasing a OVO 12, which I'm hoping to cop. Um, and I will do another review on the shoes so I can show off the the uh, owl in it. This is the Jordan 4 Dorm Becker. This is probably one of the best Dorm Beckers uh, that Jordan, uh, the Nike brand, has ever released, in my opinion. I just love the way this shoe looks with the starting from like the Superman logo to the little Afro guy in here. Just the little details on this shoe that makes it pop. What I love is like the little arrows on here and how. Just, I can't really read this because, you know what, we wear our kicks. And uh, shout out to Big Poppy for uh, letting us preview his shoe. The shoe is amazing. I love it. Um, and I just like the little tiny details. And I suppose you got any opinion on the shoe? Yeah, my favorite thing about this shoe is the quality of it. Like, they use really premium materials on it. Everything about it is really nice. And you would see that they, they put a lot of time and effort in their shoe creating it. So I think they also, that was also a really good feature. Okay, these are the Jordan 1 fragments. Uh, this is probably my favorite Jordan 1 silhouette of all time. Uh, the Everything about it. My favorite touch is the little fragment symbol right there. But so without that, it would be pretty much a Jordan 1 Royal. But with that, it just makes it pop even more. Um, yeah, uh, it's DS, which is uh, really good. So this shoe's worth a lot. And, I mean, it's just so clean, just very classy. Just uh, little things that make it good. It's just a simple shoe, but just speaks out for itself. These are the Galaxy Foam Posits, probably the best foam posit they've ever made. Like, this shoe is just crazy cool with the different design patterns of the Galaxy, and I copped this for $800. This is my personal shoe, it's DS. Um, I mean, it's just really nice, and I love it. Um, I just love the different little textures and stuff, like Nike, uh, Penny Hardway and them really outdid themselves with it. Any input? 
Yeah, I love this show. My favorite touch is the glow in the dark soul. It just really makes it pop with the galaxy theme. It just really adds a cool feature to it. So that's it.